Hello all, welcome to part 13 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to create multiple feature files and associated step definitions in the project. So let's get started. In the previous session, we have created the feature file, okay? Uh, there is login feature file and also we created the step definition class containing the methods for each and individual steps in that scenarios of the feature file. And we have run the feature file, login feature file, and uh, we are able to get the print statements printed in the output, right? In the previous session. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create additional feature files. Okay, only one feature file we have created so far. Now I'm going to create multiple other feature files and their associated step definition classes containing the methods for each and every step of the feature file. So let's get started. So here I'll take a manual approach. In the previous session, I have run the feature file and the Eclipse output console has given me a list of uh, methods that need to be implemented for the steps in the step definition class of the feature file. Okay, but now I'm going to do that manually guys so that we'll get some more clarity on that. So here, if you see the Eclipse ID, guys, here only one login.feature file is there and it's associated step definition class login.java is there containing the methods for each and every step in the feature file. Okay, but these methods we have auto-generated in the output console when I run without this step definition methods, the Eclipse output console has given me, suggested me to implement all these methods. I just copy pasted, but now I'm not going to copy paste. Rather, I'm going to create a feature file and manually create the step definition methods. Okay. So that we'll get more clarity on this feature files and step definition classes and its methods. I'll right click on this test and say new and uh, I'll say file. I'll just name this file as uh, I'll take one more functionality of this application. Guys, This is the application I'm taking. Okay. Uh, I completed the login. Uh, for example, I, I created five scenarios in the feature file for login. Similarly, uh, this time I'll go with the register functionality, register account functionality. I'll go with some four scenarios for this uh, register account. As sample, you can have more than four, but just for demonstration purpose, since I cannot take each and everything, that will take a lot of time. So I'm just taking only four sample scenarios for this register account, okay? So what I will do here is uh, when I right click and say new and then file, here I'll say register dot, name of the feature file is register and extension is feature. You can't finish. You see, register feature file got created with all this auto-generated text. I'll remove all this auto-generated text, guys. I'll make it simple. I'll just type feature here, colon. Okay, so user registration, I'll say. User registration. Some name you just give to the feature. And you can give the description. Description is optional, guys. In the previous thing, if you see, user login I mentioned and I gave the description here. But here I'll skip the description. Uh, just to show that it is optional, I'm not writing the description here. It's not compulsory to write the description. But it is a good practice to write the description. Here, anyhow, I provided the description under the feature file. Here, I'm not providing for sample case. Okay. Here, I'll write the first scenario. Scenario. So, I'll write uh, register with mandatory <coughs> fields. Register with only mandatory fields. Okay. Here, in this application, only we have to provide the details of this mandatory fields while creating an account. Okay. In the application. So I'll again say given I navigate to register account page. Okay. Given I navigate to, you see, you know, by default, you will be there on the home page, right? On this home page, you will be there. So we have to navigate to the register page by clicking on my account and select register option. You will be taken to the register account page. Okay. That's what I'm writing here. After going there, I have to fill the mandatory fields, right? Given I navigate to register account page, when I enter First name, okay, first name, I'll write the first name, I'll give the first name guys, like Arun, okay, into the, I enter first name, Arun into the uh, uh, first name field, first name, like this you can write, okay, I enter first name into the first name field, then uh, I, okay, lot of things, I, I enter, Give, uh, you can write I or user, anything is fine, guys. User navigates to a given user navigates to register account page when user enters, okay, first name, run into the first name field and enters that is the uh, last name, 
what is the last name last name motori my last name i'll give as a this is the argument i am passing from this step i'm passing this as an argument so into the into the last name field and enters email address I'll give some email address arun dot motori at the red gmail dot com okay my email address into the email feed and enters after entering this okay and enters and enters telephone that is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero into the telephone field okay that is this one then enter password and enters password uh, i'll show you a uh, way to optimize the steps guys see multiple and statements are required here because this is not a uh, it's not a simple form like login where username and password are only required but here we have first name last name email telephone password and all the stuff more details we need to enter so these steps we can optimize i'll show you that process later guys it's not the right time okay we'll go with the general process and later I'll optimize this uh, so that we can reduce the number of steps here. Okay. First, we'll go like this enter password, say one, two, three, four, five into the password field and enters password in one, two, three, four, five, same password into the password confirm field. Okay. Here, one, two, three, four, five. I'm writing here also one, two, three, four, five. After that, I'll say select privacy policy and selects privacy policy. Policy field and clicks on and clicks on continue button and clicks on continue button. Then what should happen then? account should get successfully created then account then account should get successfully created okay when you click on continue account will be created right that's what is the thing this first scenario i have created guys similarly i'll create one more scenario uh just to uh, i'll type it otherwise okay let's go manually better i don't want to take shortcuts scenario colon okay register with all fields this time given this is the same step user navigates to account page okay when user enters this one arun into the first name field user enters arun into the first name field and enters la, uh, mo, uh, last name motor into the last name field and enters email address into the email address field and enters telephone into the telephone field and enters Password, password, in the password into the password field and password confirm field. And, uh, and up to here, I'll copy paste better. After this, I have to provide all the details. That is, this is not newsletter is not a mandatory field, but uh, since I am mentioning all fields, means all these fields, including the newsletter, also should be selected. Then I'll select the it's radio option. Okay. And selects yes. For and select this for newsletter okay and select uh, s for newsletter and remaining steps are same and clicks on and selects privacy policy field clicks on continue button and then account should be created successfully okay the result should be account should get created successfully as we already know so two scenarios i created guys now sometimes what happens it will take time to you know kind of uh, identify the steps which are not created when you say save all or something right or if it is not coming you can say right click and uh, you know uh, right click maven update project you say means uh, it will update and then it will highlight the steps which are not implemented you see these steps are getting highlighted you are getting a warning message here saying there is no step user navigates or does not have a matching blue code so you have not implemented any method 
associated with this particular step in the feature file. Okay, step definition class you have to create for this register, like register.java. In that, we have to create a method for this matching this step. Until then, all these steps will be highlighted. That means these steps are not implemented. If you go to the login dot feature here, instead of getting uh, the orange background, uh, that is yellowish background, you are getting this cucumber icon. That means there is a glue code attached. Okay, there is a glue code attached to this particular step in the step definition uh, class. There is a method which matches the step definition. I mean feature file step. That's the reason cucumber icon is coming instead of the this kind of uh, yellowish orange uh, kind of background. Okay. Anyhow, don't worry about that. We are going to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to generate the methods for this and all those stuff. So multiple ways are there, guys. I will teach you a lot of stuff, okay? So here, I'm trying to create multiple feature files. Apart from login, I'm creating the register.feature. This is the second feature file we are creating. For every feature file, I'll, I'll use a different approach so that you learn a lot, okay? The different ways you are going to learn to create the step definition methods, okay? Fine, now the next thing is, Restart with all fields is over. Now, the third one, what I will do here is uh, restart without providing any fields. I don't want to provide any fields, guys, okay? I don't want to provide any fields and try to restart, okay? Third one, third scenario. Scenario, colon, okay? Restart without providing any fields, okay? I'm not going to provide any fields, but I'm trying to restart. Given user navigate, this step is same. Given user navigates, you see, uh, when I click on save all, it's getting highlighted. Till I click on save all, it's uh, not getting highlighted. Once I click on save all, it's uh, trying to find the glue code, the implementation code, which is not there yet. So, yellow color background is coming, okay? Or yellow orange background is coming for now. So, given when, here we are not going to enter any fields, right? So, directly we can say, when user don't, enter any fields okay don't enter details into any fields i clicks on continue button okay without entering any details into this fields just clear all this stuff without uh, filling any fields okay when uh, clicks on continue button and clicks on continue button what will happen warning messages will come you see, all the warning, associated warning message should come, okay? And clicks on continue button, then uh, then then warning messages should be displayed for all the mandatory fields, okay? Should be displayed under all the mandatory fields, okay? Warning message should be displayed uh, for the or under, okay? For the mandate, should be displayed for the mandatory field. Simple way I'm writing here, okay? Save all. All these steps are not implemented, so they will be highlighted in yellow once I click on save all. Last scenario I'll create, guys, okay? There are three scenarios I created. The more scenarios I'll create, more knowledge you're going to get, guys, okay? So, because this is the basic structure I'm creating first. Late, uh, I'll, uh, you see, in the previous session itself, we are using the print statements instead of Selenium Java code. Slowly, we'll migrate to the We'll, we'll take this project to the next level where instead of the in place of the print statement, we are going to write the Selenium Java code and all the stuff. Lot of things we are going to learn on the way, guys. Okay. Okay. So in the uh, in the first feature file, uh, in the first feature file, uh, I have run this without implementing and uh, in the output console, I got the suggestions for the unimplemented methods. Like this methods you have to implement like that. We copy pasted those methods into the login.java step definition class and we have implemented the methods. Uh, for this uh, steps in the login dot feature, but here in the register dot feature, I want to write these methods manually. I'll, I'll show you how to write the the glue code, okay, methods in the step definition class for this individual steps manually. I'll show you, but not all. It will take a lot of time if I uh, create a manual methods, okay. If I start writing the methods manually, creating the methods for all, each and every step, that will take a lot of time. For sample, I'll show you. Later we'll see, okay. So. Different ways I'll show you anyhow. So step by step, I'll show you. Uh, for this feature file, I'll show you. And in the next session, I'll show you another way of generating the um, step definition methods for this individual step. In this uh, second feature file, I'll show you one way where you can write it manually, okay? You don't have to depend on the Eclipse output console. You can do it manually also. I'll show you that, okay? Last scenario I'll create for now before uh, going to that step. Scenario, restart 
with duplicate email address okay register with duplicate email address already existing email address if you try to create an account it will give you an error guys okay given the same step user navigates to register account page then here when user enters first name all these details are same when user enters first name he enters last name enters email address all these things i'll copy paste guys okay otherwise i'll copy paste from here from here to here i'll copy paste for now i'll just modify the steps okay given user navigates to register account page user enters first name arun into the first name field enters last name motor into the last name field enters email address existing email address i'll give guys okay so already an existing email address is there uh, for which the account is already created this existing email address i'll give here as a value okay into the email that is, this is a duplicate email address okay enters email address which is a duplicate email address enters telephone number password select s for newsletter privacy policy option clicks on continue button then then so here if you try to create like this you will see the error message guys okay i'll show you what kind of error message you will get so so like this click on continue you will get warning email address is already registered is coming okay warning email address is already registered is coming guys okay warning message informing the user about duplicate email address email should be displayed okay like this one step i'll write you can write in your own words guys no problem okay so everyone writes in a different way but ultimately people should understand okay that's the only thing just click on save all you see all these steps are not implemented as i mentioned guys in the beginning of this session that for user user registration i'll create four scenarios i created four scenarios guys okay but uh, the steps for these scenarios are not implemented you are getting the warning icon and uh, you see the high the background is getting highlighted that means the steps are not implemented yet okay there are no steps uh, uh these steps doesn't have associated methods okay so to create the associated methods for these steps we have to create a step definition class okay in the friend ground guys you see as i already mentioned bdd and cucumber this is all around the communication right the behavior of the application is given more importance you see by writing these steps in the form of feature file we are giving more importance to uh, what is getting uh, tested or what is getting developed or whatever it is okay so here how it is not a problem what is the problem we are solving the, we are giving more importance to the behavior as explained in the previous session where communication between the three amigos that is uh, product owner business i mean product owner br business whatever you can with business you can say or developers and testers all these three amigos you know right they have, their communication should be good as part of the automation also the communication should be good and the business team and development team should know which scenarios we are automating and all those stuff in the these people can understand by looking at the scenarios by uh, because they are in english format the business people also can un uh, understand which uh, automation scripts we are automating okay which scenarios we are automating and everything they can know but we are hiding the implementation of the steps behind this feature file okay in the background of the feature file we are creating a associated step definition classes uh, having the methods and uh, the code written for each and every step in that methods okay so hope you got the idea so now i'll create under the test to overcome this uh, warning messages and all highlighted uh, things and all background to remove that you see for, for now user navigates to restart account page is having a this particular step is having a background right color that will go off now i'll show you the way right click on this test and create new class and name this classes you can give any name guys. i'll just give restart okay the same name whatever i gave to the feature file if i give the same name right it will be easy for me to identify tomorrow if i have to identify the, uh, the associated feature file, uh, step definition class of this feature file if uh, i'll try to associate with the same name that will be a better approach right register like this i'll create a okay i'll create this register class and i'll take the first step guys i'll show you manually guys earlier what i did i auto generated right i auto generated the methods so here now also you can auto generate guys right click on this and say run as cumber feature you see the eclipse output uh, console will auto generate the methods for you see all these methods got auto generated right you see given user navigated to register page everything got automate uh, auto generated it's because it's saying clearly that uh, you know they are undefined and you have to implement like this it is saying but for now i don't want to go with this uh, eclipse output console i want to create my own methods okay manual i will show you how to create the methods so go to the register.java and open the register feature and the user navigates the register account page is there copy this line guys copy this uh, right click copy this line okay given 
user navigates to register account is there. What we have to do here is just say public void, paste the statement here, paste the statement here. Since there are multiple words, method can, cannot have multiple words, right? I'll attach this, I'll connect these words with underscores. I'll copy this underscore and uh, paste it here. So all the words will be connected, okay? All the words in the step will be connected and it will be easy for me to uh, give a single name for the method, okay? This, this will become the name of the method now. Uh, and provide the curly uh, circular brackets and starting and ending curly braces. Okay. So method I created. Now click on save, save all. Still, you see it's still in the dilation is not gone, right? The dilation is not gone even after clicking on save all after creating this method also because there is no connection still established between this step and this uh, uh, method in the step definition class. So what we have to do is on the top of this method, okay, we have to give cucumber annotation. The, uh, which cucumber annotation we have to give that depends on which Gherkin keyword we have in the feature file. In the feature file, which Gherkin keyword we have given Gherkin keyword is there. For this given Gherkin keyword, there is an associated annotation in cucumber known as at the rate given. Okay. Here on the top of this method, you have to write at the rate given annotation from cucumber. This is an annotation from cucumber. This is a keyword from Gherkin. Okay. The feature file will have Gherkin keywords where in the step definition the associated okay, annotation from cucumber will be there. Over the mouse and at the rate given and import this given annotation from Cucumber. Okay, done. So you see it's saying missing attributes. So we have to provide circular brackets. Okay. In the circular brackets, provide double quotes. You see the error is gone. Now click on save. You see still this step is not connected with this uh, method. So how to make it connected? To make it connected, guys, you can copy this step as it is. You just copy this step as it is, guys. Copy this step as it is, okay, and paste it inside the double quotes. Now it will be connected. This is a matching text, okay. The method is connecting to this step definition uh, um, feature file step with the help of this matching. This is a matching expression. Now click on save all, guys. Now click on save all. You see, the highlation has gone. The background color got gone. That means there is a method. You, you can even click on control and click on this. It will take you to the appropriate method, which is matching, okay. So uh, uh, optionally, you can also give some symbols here, guys. Okay, cap symbol. Here, optionally, you can give cap. It's not compulsory. You can give cap means starts with. Okay, the step, the step which starts with user something like that. Okay, starts with this part and ends with for dollar symbol. You can write. This is optional, guys. It's not compulsory that you have to provide cap symbol and dollar symbol here. It's optional for you. Okay, it's up to you whether you want to create or not. User navigates the register account page and. Uh, Inside this, I'll for now I'll write the print statement, guys. Okay, I don't want to write the real Selenium automation code here uh, till we understand the all the cucumber concepts. Okay, naturally we'll go step by step. For now, since we are getting started, I'll only write the print statements so that you will understand the high level things first, and later we'll we'll replace these print statements with the real Selenium automation code. Here I'll say user got navigated to got navigated to register account page. Okay. Like this, we can manually create the steps, guys. Okay. You see, you don't have to auto generate every time. So, one more step I'll show you, guys. One more step I'll show you. User enters first name Arun into the first name field is the step, right? For that, what I will do here, I'll write public void. I'll copy this step. Okay. I'll copy this step and write down here. I'll provide underscores here to fill up the spaces between the words and to create the single name for the method. Okay. So, Like this, I'll write down first underscores. I'll write down. I'll just change this method here. Arun cannot be there, guys. I'll remove the Arun. Okay, that is not a word, right? The better to remove it. Okay, user enters first name into the first name field is fine. Okay, it's not compulsory to have everything in the okay. This should be a uh, unique name. That's it. Okay, and on the top of this, I'll write which which Gherkin keyword is there when Gherkin keyword is there. So we have associated at the rate when from Cucumber. Hover the mouse on at the rate when and import this. Okay, from Cucumber library and provide the circular brackets, provide double quotes, and inside the double quotes, you copy this same thing again. User enters first name around into the name field. Okay, like this you can print. Optionally, guys, you can provide cap symbol here. You can provide cap symbol here. At the end, you can provide dollar symbol here. That is optional for you. And here, in place of Arun, you just replace this. This Ar Arun is an argument, right? Arun is an argument. Replace that and provide curly braces and say spring. That's it. Okay. 
I think this is the thing. We can see that. We can see how it's cucumber expression we are creating. This is string. Uh, it should be in short form, guys. Okay. I just uh, provided a string in capital letters. Better to provide in lowercase. Okay. String. String kind of data we are getting from the here. This is a string kind of data we are getting. Okay. So we also have in tied all those stuff. If you are passing some number uh, without double quotes, if you are passing a number, right, that should be in the form of int. Okay. So for now, this string is enough, guys. I'll explain more about this string int and all those stuff later. Okay. So step by step, we are going to learn. For now, string is enough, guys. Uh, here, just string. And for this string, we have to create a parameter here. You see, manually you are creating means so much of uh, energy you have to put. You have to think in all directions. Okay. So parameters of string type string. That is first name text. Okay. First name text. Like this, I'll write. And here, I'll say system order twenty eleven. For sample, I'm writing the print statement. I'm writing down double greater than user uh, enters first name into the user has entered as entered e n t e r e d entered first name into the first name i'll say here something okay first name what is the first name the user has entered i'll write down here colon plus this first name text I'll do some concatenation here into the first name field. First name field. Like this, I'll write a sample print statement. Done. Okay. Similarly, so it will take a lot of time. Click on, uh, I clicked on save all. You will see that uh, you see user enters first name. Okay. So it's not matching it. So what's the problem here? There is some problem here. Let's see. Okay. This is the one that is a problem over the mouse. Cannot use anchors dollar or okay. Here in this case, we cannot use. So, what is the problem here is these are regular expressions, guys. Okay. So, this uh, cap symbol and dollar symbol belong to regular expression, whereas this belongs to cucumber expression. Okay. There are two things we have that I'm going to make you, uh, I'll give you more clarity in the upcoming sessions, guys. Okay. So, there are two things for matching, for matching the method, we have to, we can either specify the regular expressions. Or we can specify the cucumber expressions. But in a single step, we cannot provide both. Okay. When a cucumber expression, you see here, cucumber expression is not there. User navigates to register account page doesn't have this cucumber expression like string. Okay. In curly braces. In that case, you are allowed to use cap and dollar symbol. That's fine. But in case of you using both cucumber expression and this kind of uh, starts with and ends with a regular expression, which is optional. Okay. You cannot have both. Okay. In a single statement, if I remove this, you see it will be fine. Okay, if I remove this and click on save all, the error will be gone because in a single step, there is a rule like in a single step, you cannot have both regular, either you have to use only cucumber expressions in a single step or you have to use only regular expressions in a single step. Here, only regular expressions are there, cap and dollar, whereas in this cucumber expression is there. Okay, both are different guys. Okay, but in a single step, you cannot use a combination of cucumber expressions and regular expressions. In that case, you'll get an error. Okay, so that rule is there. So anyhow, that is covered now. Okay, fine. Now come back here. You see this st statement is now, you see uh, the background color is gone. So like this, we have to uh, manually create steps for each and every methods. Okay. Methods for each and every thing that will take a lot of time, right? So to uh, reduce the amount of time, what we can do is instead of uh, creating the methods like this, like the typing the methods and all those stuff, let's run this. Okay. Let's right click and say run as a cucumber feature. So the first two lines will run, guys. You see the here you can if you see for this uh, for this line for this statement in the cucumber feature file, you see this print statement got printed. The method got invoked and the print statement. You see the double arrow, uh, double greater than I mentioned clearly for print statements. User got navigator register account page got printed here for the second statement also in the feature file. This print statement the method got invoked and this is the proof that method got in invoked because this print statement got printed. User has entered first name argument into the first name field got printed. But for the remaining all steps or statements in the feature file, you see nothing got printed. This kind of things are print statements are not getting printed. Okay, so you see only for these two things. Okay, the, they are coming. So here clearly saying that or there are four scenarios and four are undefined. There are total thirty six steps. In that seven steps got passed. Okay, only seven steps got passed. Why? Because seven steps. You see, one, two, three, four already implemented here. As part of the first scenario, only these two steps got implemented here also. Here, one step. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Total seven steps. Okay, that's why it's saying seven steps got passed. 
four are undefined. The remaining all will be skipped because if one step is in the scenario is undefined, remaining all steps will get skipped. They are indirectly undefined only. So now the Eclipse output console is suggesting you to implement all these steps. Okay. I don't have to do the hard work. You see, by default, it is auto generated for me. Okay. Copy all these uh, methods. Okay. This is a, this is the use of the Cucumber Eclipse ID, uh, uh, Eclipse ID output console uh, output. So I don't have to manually create, which will take a lot of time, right? For each and every step, if I keep on creating, manually creating this kind of step, that will take a lot of time. Rather, I paste it. You see, it will be very easy for me, right? You see? Underscore everything is coming automatically. Why I have to spend a lot of time, right? So click on save all and uh, go here. You see, mm, there are still, still some steps which are not uh, generated or something. Let's uh, let's uh, think about that later. Okay, we'll try a different approach for that. Okay, there are some uh, here at the rate then import import then. Okay, now let's go back and save all save all. Now see everything is imp uh, implemented. Every every step has a implemented method. Okay. Now, but here till here we implemented it properly, but but uh, here enters last name is not implemented. Just press control and press enter, and you'll be taken to the appropriate method because there are a lot of methods now. So it will be very difficult to find uh, just scroll and find the appropriate method. So it's a better way to hover the mouse, control and click. You'll be taken to the appropriate method. Remove this uh, auto generated code inside this method and simply write down the Print sample print statements for now, which will be converted to the Selenium Java code later. Okay. User has entered entered last name colon. Uh, I'll say this is last name text. Okay. I'll say last name text. I'll say last name text plus into the last name into the last name field. Okay. Into the last name field. I'll say. Now, uh, click on save all and uh, here email address. This is the method for email address. Okay, so it's very easy to. So here I'll say email text. Email text I'll say. Now I'll say system dot order twenty ln. User has entered has entered email colon that is email text into the email address field okay email address field so let's try to implement all the methods guys okay the, that is for this session okay in the next session i'll create one more feature file guys okay I'll, uh, in the next session i'll uh, apart from this uh, uh, two feature files and associated uh, step definition classes I am going to create one more feature file where I am going to show you another way of auto generating the step definitions of okay, methods. Okay. So either you can write this step definition methods manually, or you can auto generate using the Eclipse ID console from uh, Eclipse ID console without having implemented methods. If you run them, run the feature files automatically, it will give you the list of methods that have to be implemented. You can copy paste here. That's one way. Second way. Third way is that there is one plugin guys that I'm going to cover in the next session. Okay. So for that, I'll create one more feature file and for that, I'll use a plugin to show you how to auto generate the methods. Okay. Methods in the step definition classes for the steps in the feature file. Okay. So here I'll write down uh, telephone text, telephone text. Okay. I'll write down telephone text and here I'll say system dot order 20 ln. Uh, User has entered telephone colon okay plus this telephone text uh, text okay into the telephone field done next step telephone is done password I'll go this is a password one I'll say password text here. Okay, this this uh, cucumber expression, uh, cucumber parameter is there here. Okay, as part of cucumber matching expression, uh, we have an associated parameter here. So whatever the value argument that is being passed here, okay, from the feature file step, will be passed to this matching expression. From here, it will be passing to this uh, parameter. Okay, that's what is the thing. Okay, system dot order twenty ln.
greater than uh, double greater than user has entered password that is plus password text into the password field okay into the password field i'll say then here remove this part here also password text only guys password text password confirm field this is okay so this is the step we are okay let me close save this is a step guys okay user enters password into the password confirm field let me open here i'll write down you can you can also see something guys when and 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 all all are coming with when guys okay when you can change it to and or you can keep it when also not a problem so you see here user enters when and uh, if you want more clarity you can write and also not a problem guys okay for the most and import this and from cucumber okay now you can say and user enters telephone and and enters password and enters uh, password into the confirm password field system dot out dot print ln and here double quotes double greater than symbol user has entered password colon plus password text this is the text okay this is uh, this parameter you have to provide here into the password confirm field into the password confirm field okay in the password confirm field let's go down still uh let's uh, privacy policy field guys okay these steps most of the steps will be repeated in the other scenarios guys so it is a one time effort for first scenario if you write most of the steps will be covered okay so here privacy policy field click on this will be taken here system dot order print here here i'll write down user has selected the privacy policy field okay then come back here click on continue button this is the one system dot out dot print dlm double greater than user has clicked on continue button now the last the account should get successfully created okay here i'll write down system dot out dot print here some dummy print statements here writing okay user account got successfully created user account got successfully created or registered whatever the text you want to write you can write it okay done second one user navigates to register account page enters first name last name email telephone password everything is done this step is not implemented yet. click on this come back here write down system dot order print ln user has entered uh, selected yes for newsletter okay yes user selected as for newsletter then next one privacy policy field is done click on continue button is done account should get successfully created is also done as part of the previous scenario now register without providing any uh, details any fields user navigates to this stuff on page is already implemented user don't enter any details into the fields okay so here i'll write down user has kept all the fields blank okay has not in, indirectly user has not entered in, uh, any data into the fields okay fields blank done then click on continue button and finally warning message should be displayed uh, okay here i will say system dot order print here warning messages under all the mandatory fields okay for all the mandatory fields got displayed for all the mandatory mandatory fields got displayed like this and right and click on save all now come back here and uh, this is done user navigates to and this all the steps are already implemented till here last step is there 
I will go to that last step. Only last one, one only one method is there, you see. Here I'll write on the print statement saying warning message informing the user about duplicate email is displayed. Okay. Done. So we implemented all the steps in the feature file in this methods in the step definition class. So now things will be good. Save all. And uh, now right, try to right click and run uh, this feature file. Either you can right click on this or you can right click on the register.feature and say run as Cucumber feature. All these steps will invoke that methods in the step definition class of the register.java and they will be running in the output. Looks like it's not running from here. Right click run as Cucumber feature is not running. So I'll run from here, guys. Let's see. Sometimes it will not, uh, you know, kind of attach. You see now it's running. So next time onwards, when you run, right click run as Cucumber feature. Still, it's not working. From here, it is not working, guys. Okay. From here, it is not working. Sometimes it will happen when you can right click here and say run as Cucumber feature. That's okay, guys. Okay. Right click on the feature file and run it. Okay. Uh, you see, for this particular uh, step in the feature file, this print statement got printed. Okay. So you see, for every step, some print statement is getting printed. Double, double, uh, double greater than symbol is uh, representing the print statement. That's the reason I provide double greater than so that you can identify the difference between the normal step in the feature file and the print statement. Okay. This print statement is coming means this particular step in the feature file is invoking the methods in the step definition class, appropriate associated methods in the step definition class. And uh, in the step definition method uh, class um, of the class step definition class in the method implemented method of the step definition in class we have this print statement it's getting printed okay so this proves that this step is invoking the method having this code for associated with this step definition okay fine no next one for this scenario second scenario also do you see for every step there is a print statement and for third scenario also for every step there is a okay for every step there is a kind of thing and you see four scenarios, four got passed. 36 steps are there. Nothing got skipped, nothing got undefined. 36 got passed. Okay. Like this we got. Okay. So a lot of things are coming up, guys. Okay. The, uh, in this session, I, I just created multiple feature files. One more feature file I also have to create, but uh, I'll take that in the next session where I'll show you another way of uh, auto generating the uh, methods inside the step definition class. Okay. I would like to auto generate the. I'll show you a different way of auto generating the methods in the step definition class. Okay. So for the another feature file, okay, for the scenarios in the another feature file. So using a plugin, I'll show you which plugin and all those stuff I'll cover in the next session. Okay. So I'll cover that in the next session, guys. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.